So looking at a volume of 3D shapes today, also known as prisms, okay? So 3D shapes uh, is a shape where something can be inside the shape, okay? Think of a fish tank, it's 3D, body water goes into the fish tank. So each of these, we need to use a formula, okay? Uh, we need to remember them, and I hear all the time, especially when it comes to cuboids, oh, sir, just times them all together. Okay, it is right, only with a cuboid, okay? Now the formula would be volume equals length times width times height. Okay, length times width times height. Some people use the word depth instead of height, but for a volume of a cuboid, um, I use height. Something I've always used. So, V stands for volume, now it's substitution. Length is five. Width is two, height is three. Five times two is 10. 10 times three is 30 centimeters cubed, okay? Little three this time, it is three dimensional and it is the total space inside that 3D shape, okay? So formula, substitution, answer, units. You will notice my equal sign is in line Obviously, it's a bit of algebra, really, as long as you know the formula. And as long as you clearly set it up like, like, like that, then you can't go far wrong. Right, that's a cuboid. This here now is a triangular prism. I know you say it's a Toblerone, okay, but in the exam, you have to put triangular prism. Let me make a note of that. Triangular prism. Okay, let's look at this shape at the front, okay? This 2D shape on the front. Ignore all this. This bit here is a triangle. We need to be able to calculate the area of a triangle before we can work at the volume, okay? For any sort of prism, volume equals the area, okay, of cross-section, okay? Now, cross-section, is the shape on the front, okay? This shape is a triangle, uh, triangle, so the volume would be the area of this front shape here, use a highlighter, the area of that, and then multiply that then by the height, the depth, how far it goes back, okay? So for this one, I'm gonna use depth. Okay, so that area, of the cross section. So you've got to be familiar with your formulas for the area of these shapes. So let's use this red pen here. So volume equals area of the cross section of the triangle, half of the base times the height, and then times that then by the depth. Okay, base is six, height is five. So half of six times five, and then times your answer by 10. Well, six times five is 30. Half of 30 is 15, and then times that by the depth, which is 10. 150 centimeters cubed. Again, formula, substitution, answer, units equals signs are all in line. Okay, so using this formula then, okay, we could use that with any prism. So I'm now going to use that with this cylinder. So again, volume equals area of the cross section times the depth or the height. As we look at this one from side on, I'm going to use the word the letter H for height. So you can clear, clearly see is how high the shape is. So ACS, area of cross section. Cross section of a cylinder is a circle. Area of a circle, pi r squared. Times that then by the height. So this formula works for every single prism. This is the formula for this one because our cross section is a circle. Obviously the shape is a cylinder. Substitution, pi times R stands for radius, the radius is six. 
times h of the height, which is 20 centimetres. So this part first, we're going to use a calculator because anything to do with circles, we're allowed to use a calculator. So pi times 6 squared equals, and I've got 113.1. I've rounded that to one decimal place. And then obviously, whatever that is, we're going to times by 20. I'm keeping this on the screen. I haven't changed it. Keep it on the screen. Times it by 20 equals 2261.9 centimeters cubed volume. But I've also rounded that to one decimal place. Be careful what the examiner is asking for. So for every single one of these, we have had formula, which is volume equals area of cross section times the height, to substitution, which means put the numbers in instead of the letters, answer, and then obviously your units, as in centimetres, cubed, etc., what it may be. Okay, this works every time, but you've got to be good at your area of 2D shapes first in order to use that knowledge to answer these correctly. Hope that helps.